Well, good day everyone again. Uh, in the last part we learned how to orient a gun and the our gun is uh, oriented to uh, 600 Russian mils now and it is still foggy and rainy and it is not that we ho only have to orient our gun we will have to rotate our gun based our orientation point uh, uh, relative to our orientation point but there is nothing you can there is n well there are points here which are uh, fixed and good but they are not far enough like that house or something it, or orientation points must be more than 800 or or a uh, thousand meters away uh, to compensate for the parallax error because the periscope you see is rotating around the rotation axis of the barrel so if you rotate your periscope there will be and if you set for example the uh, what the north edge of that uh, chapel set up as an orientation point you will have a significant amount of parallax error because your periscope will also rotate together with the gun how do we compensate for that well with the aiming post basically these sticks we pick up these sticks and uh, we set them up and then later we can use them use them well it is also a uh, good idea to set these uh, aiming posts up on the left side of the gun uh, with a pretty good visibility you will have to set up the first at about 25 meter you set up the aiming circle and you get the with interaction key you will get the distance get distance to artillery that says 19 meters so we have to pick it up again and carry to 25 A little further, let's see where we are at, 24, one more meter, Twenty-five. excellent, we just, now we just level it, with the interaction key, it is leveling, that basically we get it to the vertical position and we set up the other aiming circle because we have two and we get our aiming circle to double of that distance it is really the distance does not matter that much more like we have to be well the first must be set up uh, the, the, the second must be set up at uh, double well I might be I might just be wrong with that because I will have to aim for the periscope. You see, the periscope is over there and I have to align these two. Align them. That I see the middle of the periscope with this and the middle of the periscope with that too. Okay. Let's get the distance. It should be 50 meters. 42. So I carry eight more meters. Let's get down and get the distance. Four to seven, three more meters. That should be. That should be around fine. 50 meters, excellent. We just level it out. And uh, hold on to it again. Take the aim and the. And we first need to get to the middle of the periscope with the first one and then with the mouse align the second one with that good and uh, no now I just I just moved so I need to take it again you see I moved it the periscope is there and I 
align it and put it down level it good why is it important well let me show you so uh, now I have aligned the two aiming po poles with the periscope of my gun why is it important because I know that my gun is now set up for 600 mils and if I have to rotate my gun to a new azimuth I will just have to rotate relatively to 600 mils let's find the poles and here they are you see they are pretty much aligned well and I align them on their whatever side I want you want to align with I usually align with the right side and I now make a reading that says uh, 50 55 32 so my uh, my my periscope is set up for uh, 55 32 and all I have to do is when I get a new azimuth relative to 600 I just have to use this number the 55 32 and add or subtract the azimuth what I need let's say I get that uh, I have to rotate my ga gun uh, uh, what 100 300 mils clockwise what do I do well uh, if I want to rotate my gun 300 mils clockwise that means I first have to rotate my my uh, periscope 300 mils counterclockwise and then rotate the entire thing back clockwise together with the gun yeah how do how do I rotate well it is numbered uh, other way around so it increases uh, counterclockwise so I have to add 300 to 5532 that means uh, 5832 okay so I set 5832 5870 that's too much 32 and now I rotate my entire gun back but you see now the problem comes because because uh, because of the parallax or that my periscope rotated uh, around basically the gun now I have not aligned what do I do well how do I compensate for that well I compensate with that for putting the middle putting the back uh, aiming pole the back aiming pole which is further away exactly in the middle so I measure how I measure with my scope how many mils there are basically what eight mils difference between them okay you see it's not it's not eight it's four actually because the little one is five mils so I have a four mils difference between them so from this point I rotate four mils that's it and now I have the uh, the stick the aiming pole which is uh, further away in between my sight of line and the closer aiming pole and that means I have uh, compensated for the parallax error that's what uh, artillerists use these aiming poles for uh, it's a little difficult and it's a much um, drawing and you, you need to do your homework how it works on a paper and you will you will find out that it's a very good and very simple system to compensate for uh, for pedal etc but basically now I'm pretty sure that my uh, my uh, my gun my gun uh, points at uh, 600 plus 300 that means 900 mils Russian mils have a wonderful day